And now to a breaking news update in that deadly pileup on I-55 downstate. The death toll has risen to seven from the chain reaction crash during a dust storm. Tonight, state police reopened a stretch of I-55 near the crash scene that was closed earlier in the day because of high wind and fears of more blowing dust. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza is live in Divernon tonight where authorities are looking into whether this could have been prevented. Sabrina. That seventh fatality, a devastating update. Originally, police believed the sixth victim was one person. Later, their investigation revealed it was two. Life is a vapor. Life is very short. Dust came in like vapor, a patch of ash left behind where a cloud of destruction once was. I heard a big crash and I hit the vehicle in front of me. I didn't see it at all. Drivers like Valina Haynes did not see this coming. It was horrific. I, I've never been scared in my life. Julie Ingold was traveling up I-55 with her husband Monday. Their car was one of at least 72 vehicles stalled on the road, stuck for hours waiting in a cloud of dust for help. Three and a half hours of being on pins and needles, specifically because we thought we were going to be taken over by a fire. Seven people perished in the pileup. We know the identity of one, 88-year-old Shirley Harper of Wisconsin. Seven others remain hospitalized. There was a semi right in front of me, so I had to turn really fast into the grass. And as I did that, somebody came up behind me and rear-ended me because they probably couldn't see me either. In the hours that followed, more victims came forward. Cumbria Underwood was in the car with a three-year-old when the crash happened. I am very grateful. Like, I've, I can't even say that I'm upset about the car. I know it is a, kind of a stressful situation, but I'm not that upset because I, I lived and we weren't injured, we weren't hurt, and we're still here. The threat of another storm Tuesday caused state police to close down the same portion of the road as a precaution. It's since been reopened. This while some come back to retrieve their belongings. My daughter has medication in there, um, so it would really be a blessing if we didn't have to try to track down new medication for her because that might take a day or two and she's already been without it, you know, for 24 hours. What remains inside the cars that they'll have to leave behind. Just thinking how quickly things can change. We never know. Now, police are still investigating what caused all of this to happen, looking into the possibility of dry dirt blowing in from farmland by dry wind over onto I-55, causing that whiteout. They've yet to release the identity of six of the seven victims, and they're also asking the public's help to help identify at least two of them because the damage was so great, it has erased so much of the evidence that could have reunited those people with their families. We're live in Divernon. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. It is still hard to believe that scene. Sabrina, thank you. Live for us downstate tonight. Illinois State Police have set up a hotline if you have any information to help them identify the two victims in that crash. One was driving a blue Chrysler 300, another in a Hyundai. It's impossible to tell the color at first glance. So if you know anything, you're asked to call the number on your screen, 618-346-3653.